Okay, so good morning mga engineers at welcome ulit sa Engineer JD YouTube channel. And for this video, so magdi-discuss na tayo. For the next videos, magdi-discuss tayo ngayon ng numerical methods. No, alam natin, no, based sa last announcement ng PRC, ng Board of Examiners, ng CE. CE, no, no, sa last, no, sa OTKing noong November 2019 passers, so sinabi nila na hindi na nila i-allow sa next sa next board exam yung yung last na allowable calculus so so what's the effect of course for example yung 570 since hindi na yan ay allow so the down parang nangyari nag downgrade so hindi na pwede hindi na tayo pwedeng gumamit ng ship solve ng derivatives integrals ng of course yung mga equation solvers natin so so unfortunate actually pero there's actually a way no para pamalit natin doon sa mga nawalang features na yon so dito papasok sa numerical methods natin so now for this video so ang una ko i-discuss ay ang derivatives no paano na ay kukuha ng derivatives without using the derivative function derivative solver okay no we have this example so find y so given the function y is sine of cosine of tangent of x pinapahanap sa atin, una, the first derivative of the function at y at x equals 3. So, so without further ado, solve na natin to. Okay? First, uh, I, for this one, I use the definition, of course, the definition of derivative dy over dx, okay? Is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h pasensya na malabo ayan f of x s of h minus f of x all over h tawag dyan so this one since wala kay x nag-add tayo ng h so this is called the forward difference definition of the derivative okay now meron pang dalawa actually meron tinatawag na backward definition this time nag-subtract naman ng h no imbis na nag-add meron din tinatawag na central definition which is like add ng h, nag minus ng h, then divided by 2h. So basically, in average natin yung forward sa backward difference definitions. Okay? Now, paano yan sa calc yun, no? Paano natin i-approximate yan? So dito, h approach 0. So we can actually use as small h as possible, malapit sa 0. So as an approximation, we can approximate it and use a small value of h that is close to the value of 0. For this problem, ang gagamitin kong h is 0 0.000005. Ayan. So, that small value, ano ibibigay sa atin yan? So, ano ibibigay sa atin yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, may 5 sa dulo. Yan. Automatically, ang ibibigay sa atin yan ay 6 decimal place accuracy. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 na 0. So, automatically, 6 decimal places. Okay? Now, para natin gagawin yan sa calcu? First, forward difference. So, start tayo pa x plus h. So, dito, ito muna, yung, yung increment natin na h, store muna natin 6 decimal place. Store muna natin, bawa sa variable x. Okay? Uh, storing, uh, ang gagamitin, sanay ako sa casio actually. Pero, Yung method na to applies to all allowable calculus, no? Generic yung pag-approach ko dito, okay? Now, nistore na natin sa x. Next, evaluate natin si f of x plus h. Yan. Sa calcu, that becomes, ang mayayari, so y, the function y here, yung x natin, which is x o, sige, x o na natin. Yung value na hinahanap natin is 3. At x equals 3, then ang increment natin h is x. Basically, yung 3 plus x, okay? Substitute natin doon sa variable natin, okay? Substitute dyan. 3 plus x, ito yung x natin, okay? Yung increment. So, we substitute that, okay? Pag sinasubstitute natin yan, magiging 0 0.8359477885. Yan. So, you'll get that, okay? As the value for 3 plus x. Now, next now, find f of x, o. So, basically, the value at x equals 3. So, 
y at x equals 3. Okay? Now, substitute ulit natin. Doon sa calculate natin. Okay? Substitute ulit dito. Ayan. Substitute ulit dyan. So, you'll get now 0. 0.835 9477 452 Ayan, okay Now Finally Meron na tayo yan Ayan, meron na tayong ganyang value So let's now find the derivative So the derivative Okay So the derivative now So dito tayo So the derivative now At x equals 3 Okay so, can be approximated using f of x plus h, which is a. Uh, by the way, store nyo muna ito sa variable a. Okay? Ayan. Kung may nakuha kayong value, then store nyo ito sa variable b. So, now, the derivative is a minus b all over variable x. Okay? So, a, ito yon, b, ito yon, and then x, yung increment natin, which is ito. Okay? Now, if we substitute, okay? We substitute now, you'll get the value 0 0.079550249068. Ayan. So, this is the final answer for the first derivative natin. Okay? Now, now if we get actually the actual value, no? Yung actual value ng derivative natin, no? Ano yung derivative na to? So you'll get cosine of cosine of tangent x times negative sine of tangent x times secant squared x as the actual derivative. If we substitute x equals 3 for that actual value, so makuha natin yung 0 0.079550 So this is the ah, this is the approximate value in taas. This is the actual value yung nasa baba. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, may kita nyo, approximated. So, approximated. So, approximated siya, pero equal siya to the first 6 decimal places. Okay? Now, punta tayo na dito. Sabi ko kanina, this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, gives 6 decimal place accuracy. So, tama tayo. So, ni this, this approximation is accurate to 6 decimal places. Okay. So, nakuha po ba natin to? Okay. So, yan. so, ganyan kumuha ng first derivative. So, tandaan nyo na to. So, this one is the key formula. No? A, plus, A minus B all over X. Yan. Okay. So, burayin mo na ulit. So, next one. So, next problem tayo. So, how do we get the second derivative naman of x derivative at y equals, at x equals 3? Okay? So, now, dito naman papasok yung formula natin for the second derivative. Ayan. So, dito, na-derive siya, no, using, of course, the definition of the second derivative, no? Sa, so, tandaan natin, the second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative. Okay? So basically, limit of y prime of x plus h minus y prime of x all over the increment x. Okay? That's the definition. Now, one formula for it, pag dinerive natin, so meron tayong f of x plus h minus f of x minus 2 f of x plus f of x minus h all over h squared. Ayan. So, medyo kakaiba siya ngayon, no? f of x plus h minus 2 f of x plus f of x minus h all over h squared. So, bakit may 2? So, sa sa derivation niya, no? Okay? Pinag-combine may f of x ka sa isa, may f of x ka sa isa, then pinag-combine natin. So, 2 f of x siya. Bakit may h squared? Again, the formula, yung una dito may h, may over h, dito may over h, tapos may over h ka ulit, tama? So, magiging h squared siya, basically. Okay? Now, para natin gagamitin to sa, again, approximation ulit to. Okay? 
Paano natin gagamitin nyo ngayon? To solve for the second derivative at x equals 3. So first, so for the variable a, okay? So, solve natin muna si f of x, o plus h. Now, what is x, o? So, yung initial value, 3. Okay? Uh, so, y of 3. Then, yung increment x natin. I hope di nyo pa nabubura yung increment x natin, no? So, yung x natin, basically, is the increment h, okay? Which is, we set for 6 decimals accuracy. Ayan. 0 0.0000000 blah 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 5 Ayan, 6 decimals Now, if we substitute it, nakuha na natin ito kanina actually Okay, to 0 0.835 Kuhin ko na 9477.85 is the value of 3 plus x natin, okay? Next, for the variable b, okay? Variable b naman, let's now substitute f of x o yan f of x o naman so basically the function y we substitute the 3 ayan so, so we substitute the 3 so makukuha naman natin dito is 0 0.839 to so di nakuha na rin natin yan kanina no next for, ito na yung addi addition natin So, for the variable C Ito naman yun So, ito na yung next to consider natin F of X minus H So, F of X O minus H So, basically, it's Y Of Evaluated the 3 Minus the increment X natin Okay? Yan So, dito We substitute again Makuha natin 0.8359 4770 5, 4. Ayan. So now, nakuha na natin yung tatlo. So, okay na tayo dyan. Let's now substitute it here. Ito na yung formula natin for the derivative approximation. So therefore, derivative at second derivative at x equals 3. So it's approximated y by so a minus 2b plus c all over x squared. Yan, tandaan niyo na to. So this is the ultimate formula for the second derivative, a minus 2b plus c all over x squared. Where a b and c to siya and x this is this one, yung increment natin. Now, substituting sa calculation natin, may like, hope na astorian sa inyo. Makukuha natin negative 0.60578 final answer natin. Okay po? Sundan natin. Now, if we get the actual value, no? so basically, second derivative nito. Pero syempre, nakita nyo kanina, yung first derivative nyan, sobrang haba. What more pa, yung second derivative, mas mahaba pa yun. So, uh, so nakita nyo na yung advantage nito, ng paggamit ng numerical methods natin. Okay? If we get the actual value, so makuha natin negative 0.605 787 0519 Okay? So, dito, may kita natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 So, may kita nyo Again, equal sila in the first 6 decimal places Consistent dun sa Kinuha nating H kanina So, accurate to, to Again, 6 decimal places So, may kita natin Accurate to, to 6 decimal places Okay. Ayan. So, I hope may natutunan, may natutunan kayo for this video ngayon. So, so yan. So, tandaan nyo na yung mga ultimate formulas natin, no? For approximations. A minus B all over X. Tsaka A minus 2B plus C all over X squared. So, magagamit sya siyang magagamit for getting derivatives. Kahit wala yung derivative function natin sa calculus natin. So, para sa next na board exam. So, for the next video, ang discuss ko naman ay kung paano kumuha ng roots ng equation without, of course, the shift solved and yung mga equation solvers natin. So, stay tuned para sa mga next videos natin. Uh, please continue to subscribe to my channel and also like and follow my Facebook page for more updates. Okay. 
So that's it for today. Uh, good morning, everyone, and have a nice day.